For this project, you will need a number two Phillips head screwdriver, a pair of our Teacher Geek multi cutters, and we also recommend a pair of pliers. A list of the parts needed can be found on the Mini Wind Turbine basic build sheet found on TeacherGeek.com under Documents. Components and free documents for this activity are available at TeacherGeek.com. The TeacherGeek construction system allows you to build almost any mechanism you can imagine using two simple tools. The dowels and connector strips can be easily cut to size using our Teacher Geek multi cutter. But don't use the multi cutter to cut metal because you'll ruin the blade. Most of our Teacher Geek components come with holes that dowels just press into. Just twist the reamer back and forth to ream out a hole. Reaming out a hole will make it so it no longer holds a dowel. So don't ream out holes you want dowels to stay pressed into. Only ream out holes you want dowels to slide or rotate in. Your first step is mounting the perpendicular blocks onto the hole plate. Find a hole and place a screw through. Then put your perpendicular block on top. Give it a little twist to get it started. Flip the whole plate around and screw it in the rest of the way. Once you screwed your perpendicular block in, add a number 10 knot on top and tighten it down. Just put the dowel into the perpendicular block and your base is complete. Now take your other dowel and cut it to 100 millimeters, which is about 4 inches. With your cut dowel, place it into the center hole of the perpendicular block. If it's a little hard to just push, give it a few taps with the easy cutters. Then you can flip it over and slide it down the rest of the way. Take the dowel and place the other end of the motor mount. If it's a little tough to push, give it a few taps with the easy cutter. Take your motor and place it into the motor mount. Just place the motor bracket onto the dowel and push it down a little bit. If it's a little crooked, twist your motor mount until it's straight. Attach the mini hub top to the base using a number 6 screw. Remember to keep the screw slightly loose. We recommend using a pair of pliers to hold the base of the hub when you're tightening down the screw. Place your mini hub onto the motor shaft and your turbine stand is complete. Go and gather some materials you can use for your wind turbine blades, like cardboard or cardstock, or whatever else you can find laying around. Take a skewer and cut it to 230 millimeters, which is about 9 inches. Cut the other 9 skewers to the same length. Take the material you chose for your wind blades and cut out 3 rectangles that are 8 inches by 1 inch. Place a piece of tape halfway over the edge of the blade material. Take one of your cut skewers and place it on the edge of the blade so it also touches the tape. Then fold your tape over and press it down to adhere. Now that we have all the blades made, it's time to put them into the hub. Insert your three blades into the hub. Tighten down the screw at the end. Make sure your blades are equally spaced out. All you have to do is adjust the blades so they're all at the same angle. Your mini wind turbine stand is complete. Now that your turbine is complete, it's time to test it. Attach it to a multimeter. Set your multimeter to read anywhere between 0 and 2 volts. For your most accurate reading, measure your voltage across the load. Now that your turbine is complete, try changing the angle of the blade or even making your own. See what happens.